y'all. Don't trust no Airbnbs. Okay, so I can't even talk right now. I'm so pissed off. I, I didn't even know this shit could happen, but this shit is real and this shit is really going on. Goddamn, I call myself trying to find a way to goddamn pay off my mortgage a little better, a little quicker or whatever. So <clears throat> I put this this ad out or whatever saying I was looking for someone to sublease one of the rooms in my house or whatever. It was going to be a, supposed to be like this real smooth transaction or whatever. I was, went on vacation or whatever. The person was supposed to be gone three days prior to my return. <clears throat> So I'm talking to my housekeeper or whatever, X, Y, Z. She's like, yo, that person is still here in your house. What do you mean they're still in my house? They're supposed to be gone. So when I get back and touch down in the city, this is still here in my motherfucking house, okay? Refusing to leave. So I don't know what to do. I'm new to this shit. So I go down and I do up. There you go, y'all. Straight to the kitchen. I ain't going nowhere. So deal with it. Oh, shit. On top of her ass just intruding into my home, she disrespects me. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I've been trying to do this the right way. I done went down there and got the, <clears throat> the, the all the paperwork that I need to do to get her ass evicted out my house, or whatever. But that shit is a fucking process. I have to go through protocols and all the other stupid legal. Blase, blase, bull. And then I just got them. The police just like just left my house, and I'm like, get this out my house. They're like, oh, she's a tenant now. She's a tenant. Oh, there's nothing. You and the police, oh, okay? My door. That's all I know. Your door. This is my house. How about you get the out of my house? How about that's what you do? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get the out of my house? How about you get? 